Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to the podcast. Now, in today's episode, I'm going to be answering a question from a coach who asked about sponsorships. And uh, here is his question. He said, hey, Ben, I'm thinking about getting a couple of sponsors for my basketball business. What is the best way I can do this? And do I have to have sponsors um, in order to be more legitimate with parents? So first thing I want to do is, is answer that second part of that question. Do you need to have a sponsor to be legitimate with parents? The answer is no. Uh, I know many successful coaches that I've spoken with um, at the beginning of my business uh, in for the first several years, I never had a sponsor. Um, don't have to have a sponsor to succeed, but I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. And this is broken really into three different steps. And here are the three steps. So the first thing I would do is I would look at the different, um, if this is in basketball, I would look at the different AAU teams. I would look at the different high schools. Um, I would drive around town and look at the different scoreboards um, of all of the high school stadiums and look to see who is already advertising. Like, look to see who's already spending money sponsoring schools and sponsoring teams because it's very likely that those people are already spending money. It's very likely that they uh, are already used to that sort of thing. So those would be the first people I would approach. Um, and the second thing is you want to make this a business partnership. And this is the thing that a lot of coaches don't do. They think, well, you know, I want to get a brand sponsor. Or I want to have some, some sponsor uh, who's going to try to help me. The thing is, is, like, you have to look at it in the with a different lens, which is what can you do for them? Because if you can do something for them, it's much more likely they're going to want to work with you. All right, so here's a good example. Uh, one of my clients has a deal with a physical therapy clinic. Well, why does that work? Well, it's because every time any of his, his clients get hurt in the future, he can recommend them to the physical therapy clinic. That physical therapy clinic is going to be charging thousands of dollars per client. So it makes sense for the physical therapy clinic to sponsor this coach's business, right? So you can see how that works. It's a, it's almost like a business relationship. Uh, and the last thing that we have to think about is what sort of, uh, like membership levels are you going to have? And this all comes down to uh, just being really organized and how you present this to people in your area. And I think the easiest way to do this is have three different levels of membership for sponsors. So the highest level one, I would have that for maybe one or two businesses only. The second one, maybe for uh, maybe three or four businesses. And then the last one is probably the most affordable sponsorship. Uh, you could have that open for multiple. Um, and really what you need to do is you need to look at the expenses that you have within your business. And let's say you're doing shirts or you're doing apparel. If you have sponsors that can minimize on a lot, a lot of that cost, especially if you have it in your sponsorship levels that if you're on tier one, for example, they'll be on the front of your shirt, right? So, if they're on tier one, they'll be in your newsletter. If they're on tier one, you can talk about them on social media. And this is why if you're a really good marketer, it's very easy to get sponsors if you have something of value to offer them, which ultimately for them, it's going to be money. It's going to be helping them get new customers, helping them get more exposure. And you have to look at it that way instead of, well, what's in it for me, right? If you go into it, with a mindset of what's in it for them, getting those sponsors is, is actually extremely easy, right? So that's it for today's podcast. I hope this helps. If you have any questions for me, you wanna chat about your sports business, text me at 210-960-5771. I'm available to chat there all week, right? Monday through Friday, I'm in there answering questions and uh, that's a great spot to also leave questions that I can address later on this podcast. So <clears throat> that's it and uh, see you later.